Hey, kids. And welcome to day 16 of a very Windows Christmas. So for day 16, we are going to be taking a look at Windows Thin PC. So pretty much what this thing is, is I think it's a stripped down version of Windows 7 for, for like older hardware. I don't know. <laughs> this isn't really the best demonstration with it of it because um, this laptop, I'm pretty sure, can win one to seven. Uh, I I think that because when when I saw one of seven on it, as you saw from from the last uh, from the last you know video, it has all of its drivers. Like it has the air, it has the sound. Well, of course, it would have the sound. It um just just you know everything. Just it's just. It's just the way Windows 7 was meant to be. This one, on the other hand, was designed for older hardware. I'm not sure which hardware they were aiming for, like Windows 2000, Windows 98 style laptops, just, I don't know. Well, yeah, anyways, I have this uh, great homemade disc here. Let's get started now, shall we? Turn this on. I, I wonder if we can get to the boot menu before... Um... We can start the desk. Okay, there we go. We have our boot menu. Let's spin up. Okay, we'll just press enter on this. I think, press, I think it asks you to press any key. Yep, there we go. And we're gonna boot from our Windows 10 PC disk. DRVLow.exe. Okay, and there we have our Windows 10 PC branding. Well, there's a little, there's a little white splotch right here. Not, I'm not sure where that's. That's uh, maybe that's where the Windows 7 branding used to be. But they just changed it to say Windows 10 PC. Also, the Windows 10 PC logo is not centered. Alert! The Windows 10 PC logo is not centered. I'm sorry to anyone who has OCD out there. Hey, okay, look, we got a different background. Isn't that just neat? Well, I mean, I'll wait for that bit. Um, yeah, I, I, once we actually get to uh, the Windows 10 PC, this, I mean, sure. Windows 10 PC, it's just, it's just this, it's just these three lines. Usually they're like really long. Well, we can, go to the disk part. Okay, um, that's sec, cell. I always have these two commands in my head. Bam. There we go. We're just, uh, we're on our way now. Windows Thin PC. And we're just gonna name this Tosh because that's the name I always give this computer. Good bother with that. <laughs> Alright. Ask me later. That. There we go, and you know, and you know, the most surprising thing here is that we actually have full arrow. 
I mean, I, this was a uh, this was a version of Windows designed for like older computers. Yet we have Air on here. Like, why not just use Windows Seven? Oh, oh, I'm starting to notice the difference though. We have way less programs. We don't have Windows Media Center. We don't have um whatever else was on it. We just have the bare necessity. We have Internet Explorer, Windows Media Player, Windows Update, XPS Viewer. What? Default programs. These. The accessories. The maintenance. The startup, which is empty. And the subsystem for Unix-based applications. What? Yeah, again, installing the Windows 10 PC on this was just kind of pointless, but, you know. Um, is there any changes from... Nope. Um, paint is still the same. We could still doodle here. I don't know. I tried. No, don't save it. <laughs> we have a calculator. Those are the only pinned applications in the, you know, this bar here. But yeah. Um, yeah, that is Windows Thin PC. And yeah. You know, I, I think that would be, I think that would be just, I think it would be okay for like older hardware. Of course, I didn't like, you know, push it to its like main gimmick by not like, you know, putting it on like an older hardware, but I don't have like a, an older laptop than this. So, yeah, sure. All right, so I think that is gonna do it for day 16 of A Very Winners Christmas. See you on day 17, where we will get a little more festive and we will be um, taking a look at the Windows XP Christmas theme, 2004. All right, bye.